NAACP in California wants to remove the Star Spangled Banner as the national anthem. The group says some of the lyrics in the third verse are racist. Now this comes as Kennesaw State University announces it will allow cheerleaders back on the field during the national anthem. Previously, KSU forced the cheerleaders to stay in the tunnel after five of them took a knee during the national anthem earlier this season. Fox 5's Patty Pan has followed the story. Patty, the cheerleaders plan to take the knee during this week's game, which happens to fall on Veterans Day. Well, needless to say, the Kennesaw Five was ecstatic to hear the school's decision. And yes, we are told by their spokesperson that they do plan to continue to take a knee during the national anthem on, at Saturday's game, even if it is Veterans Day. Is that the people are wrong that are doing it? They they don't understand the nation's the nation's feeling, what we've done for them, and what their flags are for. They have. They're growing up without a true knowledge of freedom. War veteran Clint White tells Fox 5 that's how he and many veterans alike feel about five Kennesaw State University cheerleaders' decision to kneel during the national anthem. Sorrow. You know, we were there to, we, we were there to defend them, to set up the freedom of their country. And, you know, if they can't understand that, then they're, they're turning down the flag of their nation. The students said it was in protest of police misconduct. The move, however, at a September football game prompted the school to temporarily keep the girls off the field at football games until after the national anthem. But on Wednesday, KSU President Sam Olins reversed that decision in time for Saturday's Veterans Day football game. Mr. White says he can't speak about the decision, only the act. It hurts all the veterans. All the veterans that I know of are strictly, you know, strictly saddened and against it. In a letter to students, faculty, and staff, Olins wrote in part, quote, the right to exercise one's freedom of speech under the First Amendment must be protected. I do not believe that this debate has to be a choice between honoring our veterans and protecting the freedom of speech. We must be able to do both, end quote. Senior Brianna Poe has family in military. She tells us she sees it from both sides, but believes at the end of the day, freedom of speech should prevail. I personally, I probably would not kneel just out of respect for them, especially this game being a Veterans Day. I think they still have the right to express themselves. Now, meanwhile, the Georgia Board of Regents, which oversees KSU, they are conducting a review of how the university initially handled the cheerleaders' actions. Reporting live outside Kennesaw State University tonight, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News.